Whew, I really hope I recorded the blush. Mm-hmm. Wow, we're about to get into probably my biggest Sephora haul ever. Yeah. Hey guys, Bradley here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today we have my Sephora haul unboxing. This shit came fast. I ordered it. I was on the app at midnight and it wasn't intentional. I just happened to be up and then I just thought about it. I was like, oh shit. Sephora still starts today. So then I went in, experienced technical difficulties for about 10, 15 minutes, and I had already prepped my cart from the day before, so all I had to do was get in, wait for it to load. It took a long, long time, like probably another 10 minutes to actually place the order, but that happened literally after midnight on the Friday, and by Saturday morning, it was here. So today's Sunday, I hope I can get this out to you by Monday. We are going to do an unboxing. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten a box this big. Like, this is like a box, like, oh, look at my muscles, I'm a little bicep, ooh. Also, thumbnail. So, this is my stuff. Mm-hmm, I did damage, but, 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 not only are we gonna do an unboxing, I'm going to do recommendations. Some of the stuff, since I got it yesterday morning, I was able to try within the last 24 hours, so I can determine whether I should actually recommend it to you, yes or no. And then I'm also going to do things that I actually would recommend to you, recommend that you buy things that I always re-up on. However, I just didn't need, so I'm not gonna buy them today. So, if that sounds like something that you're interested in watching, then just be sure that you are subscribed to me. Scroll down, smash the subscribe button. Join the Bradley gang, 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 and let's get into today's video. So, what I tried to do was put everything that I want to recommend and talk about somewhat close to me. <laughs> so if I look confused, that's why. Pure chaos behind the camera. So let's dive into the box. What are, oh yeah, these things, these things. These are things, these are things. These are all things. So I think I'm gonna start with ancillary because there's just like really one ancillary thing that I'm gonna talk about that I actually bought. Okay, and that is the Cinema Secrets Brush Cleaner. It's underrated, and I buy this size every time. And I don't mean it's underrated as in the sense that people that like don't talk about it enough. I think a lot of people underestimate how great of a product it is if you don't own it. I hate to cleaning my brushes, like hated, hated, hated. This makes it somewhat enjoyable. It's really, really fast. They dry almost instantly. They smell like vanilla after. It's a great product that's expensive. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's not expensive. Girl, I feel like this is like 60 bucks. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. But to me, the time I save cleaning my brushes is worth it. This product is worth it just because of that. Girls, we all do it. Like, day before trip, day before girls trip, day before packing. You're like, shit, I have to clean my makeup brushes. You haven't done it in weeks, if not months. That will make it take you like 20 minutes. It doesn't matter how many brushes you have. It's not taking you longer than 20 minutes. There's no way. Next, we're gonna move into hair. This is my first time buying hair stuff from Sephora, but if you cannot tell, I am blonde, and this is a result of me being ginger. So because my hair was already lightened earlier this year, and it just faded, I just started toning it, and now we have this cute color. I was gonna dye it and do like chocolate brown for like winter, fall. I will see how I feel closer to like January, February, especially when seasonal depression starts to hit. That's probably when I'm gonna do that, if anything, but right now I'm really loving the color that it is, and I'm just working on maintaining that. The thing is, as a black girl who has processed hair now, is I need to take care of it 10 times more than I needed to take care of it before. I actually have some breakage here, which is really nicely hidden right now, so I'm not gonna touch it, but I will roll the clip. This morning, I woke up and I had to wash my hair. I wash my hair about every other day, but now I'm trying to get into the habit of making sure that I'm treating my hair. So I actually bought Olaplex. This is Olaplex number zero, and this is basically, this is their intensive bond building hair treatment. I popped that in this morning and I left it in for about 20 minutes, took my dog on a walk, came back. It says then to follow with step number three. I wasn't buying that and I also wasn't gonna buy a whole line of hair products I know aren't geared for me. So I was like, let's try the intensive treatment and let's go from there. What I did use instead was a thank God I'm natural treatment on top of it, which is basically, I think what number three is supposed to do as well. It's kind of like a cream mask situation. Left that on for another 20 minutes. Then I went in the shower, shampooed, conditioned as normal. Then I put in my leave-in. And this is just like a treatment. So I can't tell you guys that it's working yet. All I can tell you is that my hair doesn't feel stripped. My hair feels soft, my hair feels great today. And 
I'm happy with it. So I'm not gonna 100% recommend this yet, but I am gonna let you know that I bought it. <laughs> it's part of the unboxing. Next for hair, I bought the color Wow Dream Coat, but I bought it for curly hair. Didn't wanna buy it for straight hair because I don't foresee myself straightening my hair that much. And this one still has a heat protectant in it, which is great. It's really just supposed to make the curls pop. So after I did my leave-in this morning, I did go in with this. And if you're watching the clip and I have a face mask on, we'll get to that, don't worry. My hair still feels soft, my curls are popping, like you can't really see, but obviously at the front I have a bit of heat damage, just because I love straightening the front of my hair. But at the back, you can see I do have really good curl definition from this product. It did not weigh it down. It's drying great. So I'm just trying to get in the habit of finding my routine and finding products that work and products that help me not straighten my hair as much. So this one, again, can't fully recommend it, but it is part of the unboxing. After this point, it's basically a Fenty Skin haul. I'm not gonna lie. I've been dying to try Fenty Skin for a long time. We know I love Fenty Beauty. A lot of my makeup products are Fenty Beauty, but Fenty Skin has always and forever been sold out, especially since it's launched. Like, it's been crazy. So. I wanted to try a lot of Fenty Skin. I know if it's not broken, don't fix it. Like my skincare routine is pretty, pretty good. And it involves a lot of topicals. And topicals like butter moisturizer is a recommendation. It is not something that I purchased this round. However, when adult eczema popped up in my life at 27, 28, 29, I was shook. I was shocked. I was scared. And this improved the texture of my skin so, so much. You can buy it from topicals. And you can also use code Bradley when you shop at topicals to save some coin. And as much as I love this moisturizer, I love the mask and I love everything else the topical cells. My only hiccup with this moisturizer is that there's no SPF in it. So, let's get into Fenty Skin. That is my segue into their moisturizer. Hydrovisor Broad Spectrum Mineral SPF Moisturizer. I bought that. I like the fact that it's two steps in one. So, usually, with the topicals, I use the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen, which is another recommendation, just it's not near me and I'm not gonna get up so I'll insert a picture, but I will recommend that to you. Wonderful sunscreen for your face. You literally can't see it, it goes on clear. I haven't had any kind of, and I'm the black girl who not only does she burn, she peels, like all of that. So my skin is fragile, sensitive. <laughs> Especially to the sim. So I was intrigued by this because it's two products in one. If you can save me a step, especially with SPF, I find myself that I forget. I know it's winter, but I also do know that moisturizers typically last me a long time. So in my mind, something like this is going to last me until my next trip probably. And it's good to know whether I agree with it or not and if it's something that I can rely on or not. But I tried this this morning. It is under my makeup. So number one, I automatically love that it works well with my makeup. I will say that there was a bit of a white cast there was I did not use that much it comes out pink hold on let me show you first of all I love the packaging on this because and all Fenty skin products I was going through them this morning just so I could formulate a bit of an opinion before I got on camera so when you open it up there's two segments right you want to know why you want to know why <laughs> because this shit come separate so a lot of Fenty skin is made to be sustainable which is really good so you can buy the inserts for things and keep the I don't know if it's outserts <laughs> external packaging yeah it comes out pinkish and I will rub it on my shoulder so you can see that it does have like a bit of a cast like you can you can see it on my arm like, I'm not gonna hear, I'm gonna be here full full with you. I love my unseen sunscreen. Do I like it? Yes. Did I find it light? Yes, there's a bit of a light scent. I don't mind that. Um, the texture is great. I have dry skin. So for me, anything that's super hydrating like this, like this feels like, I don't wanna say greasy, but it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's it's not greasy. For a, a dry skin girly, it's hydrating. But I can feel the moisture, and that is important to me. Um, so yeah, no complaints about it. Can't 100% recommend it, but excited to continue to try it and use it. Oh, you know what I did try, and I actually mm, am impartial about this blemish defeater. So the blemish defeater is the BHA targeting spot gel. So I tried to use it under my makeup today. This is the one that's supposed to basically make a little barrier um, 
and help your pimples. So a tip that I learned from the Skin Girl on Instagram and TikTok is AHAs are for aging, BHAs are for breakouts. So this actually in theory should be really good and I did put it on today so some of my little bumps should probably be a little bit smaller or a little bit more at bay tomorrow. So I actually probably will like this better not under makeup but I find that I don't know where to put this in my routine. So today I forgot to put it on. I put it on after moisturizing, but then when I went to go prime my skin for makeup, it had already decided it wanted to peel off. So that's a bit disappointing because I'm like, if it's supposed to be on before makeup, priming is an important part of makeup. So I'm just trying to see how that's gonna work. So I'm gonna continue to try it out and see if I can get it to work. But I feel like as a skincare product, yes, as something that can go under makeup right now, it's a no. I'm not gonna recommend. You don't need this. Again, I just wanted to try it. Next, I got the Fenty Skin Buff Rider. This is just a body exfoliator. I would say I won't recommend this. I used it today. It's not bad. It's a good exfoliant. It smells great. It felt great. My issue, let me tell you what my issue is, is as much as I'm trying stuff, the size of this, for the price of this, is insane. I don't know how much it is, but I know I think everything at Fenty Skin was at least 40 bucks. So for me, I can't, like I can't justify $40 in this size when I <laughs> was in the shower. I just wanna see, it wasn't it? I was in the shower and I felt like I was emptying all of it. Like I only did a little bit, but the way that I exfoliate, I think I could probably finish this in like two showers. I think I could. I do my whole body. Like, come on. I like it for the ingredients that are in it. This is great for bikini line and underarms, especially as someone who's lasering in between sessions. I love this. And because the exfoliant that I bought recently broke me out, I love this. But to think that we're at a day and age that this would cost me $40, like even $25. What's wrong with $25? Like, to me, that is where I'm like, I can't recommend this for what it is. Okay, it was great, it was great. But for the price and the size, no. It's a no for me, dog. What else did I try today? Ooh, I tried today this cookies and cream with clay mask. I got the mint chocolate chip edition just because it used to be my favorite ice cream. Everyone judges me for that, but I used to love it. I still fuck with it. I still eat, will eat it if it's given to me. Um, And <laughs> it was really cute, it looks like this. And one thing I will say is, I won't say that you don't need it, because for me, I'm someone, again, who has dry skin, so I don't need to exfoliate very often, but I'm someone who also struggles with, um, like, detoxing my skin. I don't do it enough. So for me, this is a great option because of the charcoal in there. I found that seeing it kind of, like, explode on my skin today and then seeing my skin after, I was kind of like, oh, you kind of needed that, baby girl needed that and hopefully some of my blemishes and like my sebum will clear up from something like this however again because of the price point and the size I think it's a nice refreshing experience for sure I felt very pampered today can I recommend it because of the price maybe no <laughs> like maybe no but also again here's my here's my disclaimer on me saying maybe no because of price point it's just me being real like especially if you're someone who has used other products that might work other exfoliating products then you can go ahead and buy those but I can't recommend also because I haven't seen the results yet obviously my skin looks great but this just didn't happen today like my skin been looking great if I see really crazy effects I'm gonna come back here and tell y'all but for what they are, it's a no. I did like it. I, I There's nothing of Fenty Skin I have yet to not like. The issue is am I telling you to go and run and buy it? <laughs> no. Not those, not those two products. Not those three. But those three, I'm kind of like, mm, you don't you can you can skip it. Skip it. Skip those three. One thing I will tell you to buy, especially if you have dry skin, is the fat water. This morning, I used this toner. And first of all, I'm a toner girly. I don't exactly know what toning's supposed to do. I just know that I like what it does. Like, I don't have a single complaint when my skin is toned. It hydrates, softens, refines the look of pores. That's probably why I'm also poreless. A lot of people say that. They're like, you have no pores. Yeah, I tone the hell out of my skin. And I will not stop until I find my dream toner. And I used to use Pixie toners. I stopped because I was using the retinol toner and because I do laser, 
I, I can't be using something with active ingredients so there's kind of like no point in buying something that I have to stop using like for like two weeks or a week before I'm gonna have to have another supplemental toner in the meantime so this phenomenal when they say fat water when I tell you guys this morning I poured it out it's thick I'm not even gonna waste it right now because it's that good it's that juicy uh, can you see how it moves it comes up first of all you twist this and it comes out the top like you pour it out and it is like let me see if I can get a drop do you see look how slowly it's coming out cuz she's thick I love this this is something that I wanted to try for a long time I'm happy I got to try it would recommend I don't care what its effects are the fact that you don't have to use a cotton round the product is going directly into your face into your pores you've already sold me I don't know how you did that Rihanna I don't know why you thought about it but I'm grateful Excellent. I have yet to use this. I'm going to use it when I take off my makeup tonight. But this is the Melt Off the Jelly Oil Makeup Cleanser, basically. And I don't know how it works, or because it feels like it's upside down. I feel like you probably like squeeze down because the seal is down here. But I am out of a makeup, well, makeup cleanser, an oil-based cleanser or a melting cleanser. I used to use the Basha one, I've also used the Tatcha one, and my Tatcha one just finished, so this was a need, regardless of whatever else Fenty skin I bought, this was a need, and I will let you guys know when I come back if I have any thoughts on this, but this is just part of the unboxing because I needed to get a melting cleanser. Wrapping up skincare, I got... A Fenty but a drop refill I have this is not part of the unboxing not an eyelash <laughs> not a single eyelash being on the container I have this version of Fenty but a drop this is the shimmering one the holiday edition but I've had this for like a year I don't think it's supposed to last that long oh it is it's still it's still current so because I knew that this was basically supposed to be finished by next month I bought the refill, but I bought the regular refill. The shimmer is cute, but it's really not saying much compared to say like Body Lava. So I wasn't gonna rebuy this one. Plus the cinnamon, I kind of found myself over in the middle of the summer. I didn't want to use it. It just felt like too warm for the summer. I don't know if you're like that, but for me, if certain things smell a certain way, I don't want to use them. So because of that, I didn't really use this, but the formula on this body butter, y'all, the formula on this body butter, y'all, like, it's crazy. First of all, I don't know about you, but I expect body butters to be expensive. Every body butter that I've actually liked, loved, found has been expensive. Um, and the ones that I used to buy were actually locally made by a small brand, and they dissolved, and it made me really fucking sad. But the ones at, like, the drugstore are, like, super small, and, like, a million dollars, and it's like, if I'm gonna buy it from anybody, it's gonna be Rihanna. Like, it's, if I'm gonna spend the million dollars, it's gonna be on Fenty Skin. So, I had this it's almost done and I'm just gonna finish it up this week and I'm gonna put in the refill of the regular kind it says to use once a day I can see that I would use this before bed it's luxurious I 100% recommend this body butter it is so like when I tell you guys even right now like how my skin feels because I made sure to use it before this video to make sure I could really co-sign this like so rich it is a very rich body butter you feel hydrated you don't feel greasy, you feel moisturized, and especially as winter comes up, this is important. So you can just pop out the one that's in here and pop this one in there. And you save money, because I think this one, especially the holiday edition, is like $65 if I'm not wrong. So just buying the refill, I saved money, which is also really, really nice, because you're not paying for the packaging. So I'm gonna pop that out later. And I think that's it for Fenty Skin. <laughs> like that, I know, that was a lot, but I told you it was like a Fenty Skin haul. I was not lying. Um, but my last skincare product, oops. My last skincare product that I'm gonna recommend is the Topical Slather. This is a body serum. And again, just, I tried this for the first time last year. Last Sephora sale last year and I didn't quite know what I had on my hands until I started using it more and more and more and fell in love with it more and more and more. It's really good. When I tell you, first of all, think about like retinol, lactic acid, like those two alone, the softening they do, the pore reduction, the way people touch my skin are like, no, your skin's like really soft. And I'm like, yeah, 
I take it really seriously, <laughs> but this is the one product that I used all year round, so I can definitely attribute my skin's appearance as well as softness to this. I didn't, I was not consistent with anything else body care wise except for this, and this was phenomenal. It comes out a lot, so be careful with that. Like, you probably just need like one squeeze for your whole body, but again, because of the consistency, it goes a long way. I recommend using this before bed. Like some nights I would use this plus the Fenty body butter. And it's like top tier luxury, a hot shower after the gym. Oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. Like, And then you wake up the next day and you're like, this is my skin? The skin that I've had for 30 years? Feeling this soft like a baby? Yeah, this will do it. And again, if you buy it from Sephora, you save right now. If you buy it from Topicals, you can use code Bradley to save all year round. Sangria break, sangria break. Now we can get into makeup, which is where most of my recommendations also live. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at the chaos and the amount of time I've been on this video. Let's start with primers. The two primers I'm going to recommend are the Milk Makeup Hydroker Primer as well as the, that's upside down, <laughs> as well as the topical sealed primer. The reason why I like sealed is because I'm wearing it right now under my makeup. It does this really good blurring job and on top of it, it has skincare in it. So it has retinol in it, which is like, I know everyone's on retinol, 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 but to me, the way like my under eye looks, with my forehead looks, the fact that you're reducing texture while wearing makeup is really important. Hydro Grip, why I recommend this, I just feel like it, my makeup's not going nowhere. My makeup's not going nowhere. It still does things similar to Sealed. This was my favorite primer before Sealed. Sealed just came up recently and Stole is now my favorite. And this one has hyaluronic acid. It's hydrating. So for someone with dry skin, and especially as winter time comes, this is probably gonna be what I'm gonna lean toward more. But these are my primers that I would definitely both recommend. Next, I'm going to recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed, what is this, setting spray? <laughs> I have a second setting spray that I use, I don't see it. But I don't even wanna show it to you guys because it's viral all the time. That is the Patrick Star One Size That setting spray, phenomenal. It was sold out before the sale. I could not add it to my cart. It is nowhere to be found because the girlies won't stop talking about it on friggin' TikTok. These both are transfer proof setting sprays. I find that the Patrick Star is better. It's more transfer proof than this one. But this one, look at my face today. The melt on this is incredible, like insane. I love the way my skin looks under this. Like this one literally makes me look airbrushed. Like I find that and I don't know how she does it, what she put in it, but I actually do look airbrushed. I love the finish on this. I don't look greasy. I look like I was airbrushed. I love that. Like I can't emphasize it enough. This is great. This is the one that I'm like, she's a need. The one size one is a want, nice to have type situation. Both, again, recommendations, this one I bought. I do have my little one size. And again, I'm big on like, why travel sizes of stuff to try? Stop trying to buy the biggest size of everything. I bought this in travel size, I loved it. Now I want a big can. I'm gonna talk about this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Mask. It's an overnight plumping lip mask. I love plumping shit. I love plumping my lips. I love reducing the lines of my lips. I love getting compliments about how soft my lips are. <laughs> and I do the work. I don't think as a woman you'll ever need a lip scrub. I think your lips will have to be like crazy insane for me to think you need a lip scrub. I think put your efforts into actual hydration. Laneige makes a lip mask. Lawless makes a lip mask. This is not something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I 100% recommend you need it. Like, girl, if you really want, you can use Vaseline. I just find that the lip mask actually feels way more hydrating way like way way more hydrating you don't need to use it even every day i think once a week even once a month will do wonders for what your lips will feel like um this one specifically i didn't find anything special about it so i'm not going to recommend it to you but i just recommend lip masks on a whole i think are something that we underestimate the power of i think it's just a nice to have for sure but really does like a good look at my lips mm, juicy i used it today next what I bought, this is for the box that never ends, I'm telling you. Um, what I bought was some blushes from Sephora because Sephora stuff is 30% off. 
So for me, I don't necessarily live in the Sephora brand, but I will try stuff. I'll buy a lip liner, I bought blush. Today I put on all three of these. I'm wearing all three of these now. I will tell you that this one, trust yourself, probably had the most mediocre impact, so I won't recommend this shade. These two together, Fascinated and Tiger Lily, they're two different finishes. This one's a duo, and this is soft matte finish. Creamy texture, buildable, buildable she is, and this one is a shimmer. These two together, I think, created a really nice blush, whereas I used the other one just right here, and it got lost under these two. Especially because they're $20 blushes, saving 30% is nice right now. <laughs> it's basically free. Girl math. With these items, we're officially done the unboxing portion of the video. <laughs> Officially, we can move on to straight recommendations after this. I'm not wearing it now, but I tried it today. The MAC Squirting Plumping Lip Gloss and a Stick. <laughs> it's called the Squirt Plumping Gloss Stick. And I don't recommend this. I tried it once, that's all I needed. It's not that it's bad. I like that it also is a plumping stick. I like that it's a gloss and a stick. I hope right now I'm voicing over me actually putting this on because you can see that because it's in stick form, it almost muddies up the lip liner, which is kind of annoying. So what is the point of this is basically the question. I'm trying to understand its purpose. I think this to me will be more beneficial as a bomb. At that point, it's a very expensive blistex. That's what I would equate it to for this. I liked how it made my lips feel. I like the pumping. I don't think I see a need for this beyond that. Next, I got two gloss bomb heats from Fenty Beauty. I love these. I have so many of these. I have so many gloss bombs in general from Fenty Beauty. Like, I was this close to buying the gift set. Can't recommend it, but there are shades in there that I would love to get my hands on. But I just don't need. Today, I did swatch both Hot Chocolate as well as Hot Cherry. And I was wearing Hot Cherry. It's kind of rubbed off now. I love both of these shades. And you can see the comparison between the MAC Gloss Plumping Stick. I don't even know what color this is in. This is in Heat Sensor. Where do we got heat sensor? I don't know. <laughs> you can see the difference between that, and I think that's actually ironic because it's a red tube that is supposed to have like a bit of pinky pigment in it, and because of my lip liner, it just made brown. You can see the difference between the Fenty Beauty when I was wearing brown, how it looked on my lips, versus the red, how it looked on my lips. Like it should carry some sort of pigment, is basically all I'm trying to say. And I am a big, big fan of these. Like. I love the plumping, I love the pigments. I think it tied together today's no makeup makeup look. I'm a fan. Gloss Bomb Heat has never led me astray. Ever, ever, ever. So now, we are just in recommendation territory. That was the unboxing portion, and as I saw fit, I popped in a recommendation. Everything now is just things that I find make my makeup routine really slap, okay? <laughs> Let's make this quick. Number one. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in brown. I love a brown mascara, so really any brown mascara will do, but I find that this one really makes my lashes pop. Tower 28 also just recently launched a brown mascara, and I'm really interested to try it because I really like their brush. So I will be recommending any brown mascara, period. But this one I find is really hot and really makes my lashes do the thing. So next recommendation, the Bosma Beauty Foundation Sticks. I have four shades that were sent to me in PR. Thank you so much. I love you. Why I recommend these is because it's a nice skin finish. So you see right now how, one, we got a shade that is incredibly close to my actual skin color, if not an exact match. And there are two shades that I find that with. I find shade seven and shade eight are damn near perfect matches for me. The formula itself is really buildable, so like today I put on one layer and I was like, you know what, we could do a little bit more, especially on the forehead. We got some dark marks, did that, covered it up. And it really works well with the rest of my foundations. Those in conjunction with the Tower 28 Swipe Concealers, I will show you. The bottles, they're just dirty, so it's kind of embarrassing. I'll show you the box instead. Also, something I got in PR, like, who is she? <laughs> These have hyaluronic acid in them, and I find that because of that, I've been looking really plump and juicy and hydrated. This current foundation routine of the Bosma Beauty Foundations and the Swipe Concealers is really a good chemistry, and then putting the Charlotte Tilbury on top, excuse me, I have PV and I have Playa. I go around my face with PV as my general highlight. Playa is my bright inner corner highlight and any excess of Playa, I kind of will put on my nose and in the center of my face to really brighten me up. Obsessed with the formula on these and they came when I was really out of concealer and I was like, wait a minute, I 
love these. <laughs> like I was like, I don't know if I'm going back to my old concealer, especially the price point that these are at. I really, 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 really love these. Power 28 also sent me PR earlier this year that had a lot of their lip products in it. So they're one liner or something I recommend because anything you can use more than once in more than one area. So you can use this as like blush if you wanted to. You could blend it out on your cheeks. You can use it as your lip liner. You could blend it out on your eye and make an eye look. That I recommend and I love and I love the formula. Super smooth, it's long lasting, no complaints there. Their Shine On Milk Jelly Glosses specifically, I recommend because there's something about them that really gives that milky effect, especially on my complexion. Like everyone can be like milky this, milky that, but then I put it on and it's not doing the milky thing. So what's the point? I find that I really love this shade Almond. It's a nice brown. Pistachio is cute as well. Those are the two that I have in my hand and I'm really happy I have extra. Like these over the one liner, like using the one liner like a lipstick and then putting these on top, chef's kiss. But I find that these work really well with any lip combo I have to put together with a pink, a nude, these bring it together. Love, 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 love. Okay, we're almost done. Final products are like setting. Yeah, they're all setting. For setting powders, I love the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder in Honey. I don't even know how long I've had this. I'm ashamed to say I know I should throw this away. Like I know it's it's definitely been over a year. I'm not gonna go back and check. But that's how long it lasts. That's really why I'm gonna hype it up. Obviously you get a great finish. I think next time I'm gonna go a shade lighter than Honey just for the look that I like to deliver nowadays. But the formula always bangs. And again, I still, like I'm looking in here and I'm like, the amount of other setting powders I've gone through, just like minis and stuff like that, that like go so quickly. What do you mean? What do you mean your setting powder doesn't have like the coverage, the bandwidth? This has the bandwidth. A setting powder that I actually like to set for the shade and the continuation of the airbrush look is this Charlotte Tilbury one. I have it in shade medium. I like that the mini comes with even a mirror and it's still really super compact. I just bought this to try one time and I really like it and now I need to go get the full size. This with the Fenty, it's over. I like this one because it's brighter and sometimes I find that this one's a bit too dark for me right now, but the formula I love on this. So what I will do is I will pack this down first and then I will go in with this to kind of just like dust away and give me more of the continuation of the airbrush look. Like that's always the goal, to continue to look airbrushed. Love, 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 love this. Something I've been doing after I set my face with setting spray is I've been going in with Fenty's Invisimat and I've basically just been like, okay, you see that, you see that crease after you put your setting spray down? I just go in with this. Also, why I love Invisimat is because it fits in my purse. So nine times out of 10, I'm walking with Invisimat in my purse. And it actually is universal, which I love. Like, yes, it can get crazy if you're not paying attention, but like, I just set my face. Do I look crazy? This powder is white. Do I look crazy? Absolutely not. Rihanna would never do that to us. And lastly, but not least, the Fenty Beauty Sense Darker Bronzer, a favorite that I cannot not have. First of all, I feel like Rihanna was the first person to expand bronzers to so many deeper shades to the point where I can't even fathom buying it from someone else because I'm just like, you guys did this after you saw her do it, shoe. Like, it, she been true to this. She's not new to this. I have shades Coconati as well as Mocha Mami. Really gives me like a seamless bronze on my cheeks which I love, I love the formula, I love the shades, I love that there's so many different shades. So I feel, I can play. I don't have to sacrifice a product that she has, I can just find a different shade. You don't have to do that with Rihanna, she'd never make you have to choose. Why choose? <laughs> so, that's it for my unboxing and recommendations. I'm sorry this video was a million years long, but I bought a lot and I have a lot to recommend because this is what I do, this is where I live. This is how I make my living. <laughs> so for me, it was a lot to say, but I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did like this video, you found it helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I said today, anything I did, anything I showed you, anything I recommended. Leave that in the comments down below. Also comment if any of these products are products that you recommend, or if they're products that you hate, because that would be an interesting twist of events. Imagine that. Leave your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, before you go, please be sure that you're subscribed to me. Scroll down, smack that subscribe button. Join the Bradley gang, 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 gang. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Part.
Sorry, that was a joke. <laughs>